I'm Michelle Mikes, the K-12 Mathematics Supervisor for the Cobb County School District. Our district is committed to helping students succeed, and you as parents are an integral part of this process. To help keep you informed about what your child is learning in our math classrooms, we are excited to provide you with these informational videos on concepts taught throughout the school year. Thank you for taking the time to discover ways to support your students' learning. Welcome to the third grade unit one numbers and operations in base 10 parent video. My name is Jamie Carberry. Here is a concept map with all of the topics that we are going to discuss in unit one. For this unit, students use place value to round numbers to the nearest 10 and 100, fluently add and subtract within 1000, and solve two step word problems involving addition and subtraction. The first area on the concept map that we are going to discuss is how students need to use place value to round numbers to the nearest 10 and 100. Let's do an example. What is 137 rounded to the nearest 10? The first thing that students should do is they need to figure out the benchmark numbers, the numbers that come at the beginning and the end of this number line. What numbers does 137 come in between? I know that 137 comes between 130 and 140. After the students find the benchmark number, they then find the midpoint, the number that comes right in the center of 130 and 140. Since 130 is 10 less than 140, the midpoint number is 135. Students learn that all midpoint numbers that go along with rounding to the nearest 10 have a five in the ones place. That's because five is half of 10. So 135 is our midpoint. 137 probably comes somewhere around here. Students then see, is it closer to 140 or is it closer to 130? Here we see that it is closer to 140. So we would round 137 to 140. Here we have what is 559 rounded to the nearest 100. Again, the first thing that students are going to do is to find the two benchmark numbers that 559 comes in between. Since we are rounding to the nearest 100, I know that the two hundreds that 559 comes in between is 500 and 600. Then I need to find the midpoint. And I know that the midpoint is the number that comes right in the center of 500 and 600. And that number is 550. I know that when I'm rounding to the nearest 100, all my midpoints are going to end with a 50 because 50 is half of 100. 559 is only nine more than 550. So it's probably about here. I know that that is closer to 600. So 559 would be rounded to 600. Next on the concept map, we will discuss how students can use strategies to solve addition and subtraction equations within 1000. This standard refers to fluency, which means accuracy, efficiency, which is using a reasonable amount of steps and time, and flexibility using strategies such as the distributive property, the word algorithm refers to a procedure or a series of steps. There are many algorithms other than the standard algorithm. Students are continuing their learning about addition and subtraction from second grade, and they continue to use base 10 blocks in third grade to add and subtract. Here I have the equation 254 plus 243. I began by placing 254 on this place value chart using base 10 blocks. You can see that I have two hundreds, five tens, and four ones to represent 254. Now I'm going to use these base 10 blocks on the side and I'm gonna drag over 
two hundreds, four tens, and three ones to add 243. So I'm gonna start with my two hundreds. Next, I'm gonna move to my 10 sticks and I'm gonna grab 40 or four tens. And finally, I'm going to drag over three ones. Now I'm going to add up each place value and see what my sum is. You can see I have my 200 plus 200, so that's four hundreds. I have my five tens plus my four tens is nine tens or 90. And then four ones plus three ones is seven ones. So my sum is 497. Here we have an example of 178 plus 225. The first strategy I'm going to discuss is called the partial sums strategy. And for that, we're going to decompose each number by their place value. So starting with 178, I'm going to start by adding the hundreds. So we have 100 plus, and 225 has two hundreds. So 100 plus 200, and that equals 300. Next, I'm going to move to my tens place. 178 has 70, and 225 has 20. 70 plus 20 is 90. Last, I look at the ones place and I see an eight plus five. Eight plus five is 13. Now I'm going to add up the different place values. So I have 300 plus 90 plus 13. I know that 300 plus 90 is 390 and 390 plus 13 if I'm adding one group of 10, I know that that's going to get me to 400, and I have three ones left over. So my sum is 403. The next strategy that I'm going to discuss is called the open number line strategy. And to start off, I'm going to actually use 225, and I'm going to put that in the beginning of my number line. I can do that because when I am adding two numbers together, it doesn't matter the order that I use the add-ins. So I can flip-flop 225 and 178. That is called the commutative property. So I'm going to start with 225, and I'm going to count on by the different place values of 178. So I'm going to start with my 100. So I'm going to add 100. So 225 plus 100 is 325. Then I'm going to add 70 for my 7 tenths. And 325 plus 70 is 395. And then I have my eight ones. 395 plus eight ones is 403. Here we have a subtraction equation, 245 minus 132. I'm going to subtract using base 10 blocks. What I did to start off is I represented 245 showing two hundreds squares on my place value chart, four 10 sticks, and five ones. I need to subtract 132 from 245. I see that 132 has one hundreds in it. So I'm going to subtract one hundred square from 245. Next, I see that 132 has three tens. So I'm going to subtract three ten sticks. Finally, I see that 132 has two ones. So I'm going to subtract two ones. You can see that I'm left with one hundreds, one ten,
and three ones. So I have a difference of 113. Next are some subtraction strategies students in third grade will learn. Here we have 763 minus 251. Down here, I drew an open number line and I put my smaller number of 251 at the beginning. And I am going to count on in place value increments until I reach 763. First, I'm going to start by counting on hundreds. I see that I have 200 and 251, and I need to get to 751. In order to do that, I need to add 500. I know that 251 plus 500 gives me a total of 751. Now, I'm going to add 10 to 751 to get 761. And from there, I'm going to add two ones to get to 763. In total, I added five hundreds, one ten, and two ones. My difference is 512. The next strategy that I'm going to talk about is very similar to the partial sums strategy in addition. I'm going to subtract by the different place values. Starting with my hundreds, I have 700 minus 200. 700 minus 200 is 500. Then I have 60 minus 50. And I know that that is a difference of 10. Last, I look at the ones place and I have three minus one, which equals two. If I add the sum of my differences, I get a total difference of 512, which is my difference. The last area on the concept map is solving two-step word problems using addition and subtraction strategies. Here we have a word problem. Jerry earned 231 points at school last week. This week, he earned 79 points. If he uses 60 points to earn free time on a computer, how many points will he have left? This is an example of a two-step word problem. So let's take a look at what we know so far. Jerry earned 231 points last week. This week, he earned 79 points. Well, I need to find out the total number of points that he earned last week and this week. And to do that, I'm putting 231 points and 79 points together to find the total. When I do that, I am adding. So I'm going to be adding 231 plus 79. To do that, I'm going to use my partial sum strategy and I'm gonna start with my hundreds place. 231 has two hundreds. 79 has no hundreds, so I know that I just have 200. Next, I'm going to add my tens place. I have 30 plus 70, which I know is a sum of 100. Then I have my ones place, which is 1 plus 9, which is another 10. Now I'm going to add up 200 plus 100 plus 10. 200 plus 100 is 300, and adding one more 10 is 310. Then it says in the word problem that he uses 60 points to get free time on the computer. So if I'm using 60 points, I'm subtracting 60 points from 310. So here I have 310 minus 60. I'm going to use my open number line to figure out the difference. And to do that, I'm going to put 60 at the beginning and I'm going to count on until I get to 310. To do that, I'm gonna start by adding 
200. 60 plus 200 is 260. I need to get to 310. So I'm going to add 40 to 260 to get to 300. So 260 plus 40 is 300. And then I know I add 10 more to get 310. In total, I added 200 plus 40, which is 240, and 10 more, which is 250. He has 250 points left. In closing, Unit 1 focuses on numbers and operations in Base 10. Students learn how to use strategies to round numbers with place value to the nearest 10 and 100. Students will also use different strategies to add and subtract within 1,000. And finally, students will use addition and subtraction strategies to solve two-step word problems. In third grade, students focus on learning different addition and subtraction strategies to help them build up their number sense skills. Number sense and computational understanding is built on a firm understanding of place value. Thank you for your time. We know that when families and schools work together, student success increases. Please visit the Cobb County Math Department website for additional information and resources to support your student at home.